here today at a very significant spot. We're up on a high hill. It's actually the hill of Megiddo. Now Megiddo is really a tell and a tell is where there's been layers and layers and layers of civilization. Even Solomon had horse stables here many, many hundreds of years ago. But the significance of this particular area is its strategic location. We're looking across the valley of Jezreel or the valley of Megiddo and this was really the highway north to Egypt. And there have been many, many hundreds of battles have been fought in this particular area because of its strategic location. 1479 BC, Tutmos, king of Egypt, captured this area. From that time on until 1948 when Israel gained this area, there have been many, many battles fought here at the Valley of Jezreel or the Valley of Megiddo. But you know the Bible talks about another battle that will be fought at the end of the age. And we read it, for example, in the book of Zechariah. It talks about a time in Zechariah 14 when the armies of the world will be gathered against Jerusalem to battle. And then it gives some details of that particular battle that takes place. Thessalonians chapter 2 uh, tells us of a coming time when the Antichrist and his armies will be gathered against the Lord and the Lord Jesus Christ himself comes back and uh, destroys the Antichrist with the brightness of his coming. Uh, Revelation chapter 19, for example, tells, John says, I saw heaven opened and uh, one was coming on a white horse and the armies of heaven followed him. And it says on his vesture and on his thigh there was a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is coming back to this earth. But when you read in Revelation chapter 16, Revelation 16 pinpoints the exact location of this final major battle in human history. And it says in Revelation chapter 16 and verse 12, Then the sixth angel sounded and emptied his bowl upon the great river, the river Euphrates. The waters of that, of that river were dried up to prepare a road for the kings of the east. And I noticed three foul spirits looking like frogs emerging from the mouths of the dragon, the animal, and the false prophet. Now, Revelation speaks of the Antichrist and his false prophet as the beast and the false prophet. It says they are diabolical spirits performing wonders, and they are set out to muster all the kings of the world for battle on the great day of God Almighty. And so it speaks of a battle. Evil spirits have gathered kings of the earth to gather for a great battle in human history. And verse 16 pinpoints the place of that battle. And it says they brought them together to the place called in Hebrew Armageddon. And uh, Armageddon or Megiddo, as the, this particular area is called, is also referred to as Mount Megiddo. And in the Hebrew, that is Har Megiddo, Har Megiddo, or Har Megiddo. And so this very place, as we look out across the valley, the place where many, many battles have already been fought, Revelation chapter 16 pinpoints this as the place of the final battle, the battle of Armageddon, and the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says, will come back in power and in great glory. Now that will be a fearful time, and yet the very fact that Jesus Christ is coming back again gives this world hope. It seems we're headed on a path to self-destruction. Something has to happen. Jesus Christ is coming back to set up His kingdom. Jesus Christ will reign as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And I would just ask you today, have you submitted your life to Jesus? Why not today make Him the Lord of your life? Make Him your King today. And then you'll be ready when that time comes, when that great battle of Armageddon, the judgment of God comes upon the earth. So open your life to Him today and uh, just surrender everything and make Him your King because He's coming back as King of Kings and Lord of Lords.